So, I get another paycheck settlement last night from another owner operator. Got his own truck and trailer with an American company. It's not the Russians this time, it's with an American company. He sends over the settlement. It's got the fuel, all the deductions, everything they charge weekly at this particular carry. He's getting 90% uh, of the load. So I thought I'd share that with y'all. We take a look at it. And uh, it's pretty good. It's damn good if you ask me. I It was so good. I had to contact the carrier just to see what on earth was going on. So uh, basically he did three loads for the week. The first load coming out of, uh, I think it was coming out of Colorado. Uh, he picked it up a couple of days before the pay period, but it's all good, man. It's probably extra two days or something. But uh, what I'm looking at is that 90%. Now, this particular carrier, you book your own freight off the load boards, whatever load boards you, uh, you choose. They don't dispatch you at all. You got to find your own freight. So uh, 90%, got to have your own truck and trailer. It's an American company. It's even in an American location. I'm not going to tell you what state it's in, but it's, if I told you what state it's in, it's very American over there at that particular state. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be in the comments trying to guess. There's plenty of companies that pay 90%, 88%, 80%, 70%, or 65%. Don't forget your own authority can even pay 100%, minus the uh, factoring, about 3 4%, whatever you, you know, choose if you don't want to factor it in. You know, you got quick pay and other options, but, um, man, I'm, I, the, the settlement looks so good. I, like I said, I contacted the carrier because I had to see, uh, you know, if the flat top was to, uh, show up, you know, what would my deductions be? And it's the same. And they do take, um, any age tractor that's in uh, good condition. You know, it's got pass inspection, the flat top pass every inspection. Uh, I don't have a trailer. They do rent out trailers. I'm um, not going to tell you what the fee is for it. But uh, it's about the same. It's the same as the Russians. Um, nah, well. It's a little bit more than the Russians. It's a little bit more than the Russians. The Russians want 250 a week. This carrier, they don't They do not do it by... Um, they don't do it... Um, a set amount per week they do it a percentage of the gross so you know if you just did the minimum of six thousand dollars gross it's still gonna put you paying more for the trailer than the russians so but then again you can get your own trailer anytime now me i just found truck and trailer parking here in nashville or right outside of nashville um uh, basically what i did to find it i'm gonna give you i'm gonna tell you exactly how i found it i went on google maps and I typed in mechanic shops, diesel mechanic shops, okay, or diesel repair shops. Uh, you know, I got a lot of options here in Nashville. And uh, I just called the one that was closest to uh, where I was at when I typed it in the map. And I said, hey, do you guys offer truck and trailer parking? And they said, no, we don't offer truck and trailer parking, but call this guy. And he gon', you know what I'm saying, he off a truck and trailer parking. So they gave me the guy's phone number. I called him. He said, yeah, man, I got six lots, a lot of space in Lebanon, Tennessee, which is right outside of Nashville. Said he just charged 150 a month truck and trailer park, parking, uh, plenty of space. So now if I was to take home time, I just go straight over there for the 150 a month versus going downtown to TA. You know, I don't really know if you could park there for too much time before, you know, somebody noticed. But uh, that's real good parking right there. Lebanon is not too far from me. I think 15 minutes maybe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I know one of my favorite truck stops out there is in Lebanon. What else is in Lebanon? Interstate distributor was out there. Uh, I work for uh, Night Transportation. They was out there. Hmm. I think those are the main two. I did a lot of, a lot of driving work up out of Lebanon. Um, mainly pulling, uh, I think I was pulling like Starbucks, Cracker Barrel, and a lot of other freight coming up out of there. But because I got my own authority, I went on and went on DAT Low Board, put in my uh, DOT number and all that good stuff. 
and paid the $30 just so I can see what on earth is on this load board. So, uh, can I show y'all the load board? Oh, I can't. Okay, I can I can do the screen. Okay, when I put the settlement up, I'm going to put a, a recording on my laptop of the load board. And I'm just going to show y'all loads coming out of Nashville within, we're going to do within, what, 50 miles I guess 30 miles 30 to 50 miles just to show y'all what's around Nashville okay a lot of drive-in freight a lot of reefer freight enough to keep me you know sitting at the house negotiating with the brokers trying to figure out who's gonna get me out of bed for the right price that's all I'm saying but um that's what I saw when I saw uh the DAT load board okay they got a lot of power on it, too. If I was to go ahead and pay the insurance of my own authority, I can run Amazon, of course, and also I can run um, power only. But uh, a lot of power only stuff I see on DAT load board is mostly JB Hunt, Snyder, and uh, it's, it's, it's mostly like 90% JB Hunt. And then the rest is just other uh, brokers and stuff. Uh, that's an option. Um, Oh, uh, shoot. Who else did I sign up for? Signed up with CA Drivers, and they got a low board with power only. Uh, Convoy here one. Uh, I looked at Night Swift. They got a low board. Not much freight on there. Who else did I look do? I think that was it, if I remember. I think that's all I looked through. A lot of options is what I'm saying now. Do I recommend power only? I never tried it, but based off looking at the board and with my numbers, I can make it work just because I own the truck, obviously. And uh, the very first load is going to pay the, well, I'm not even going to say the very first load is going to pay the authority for the month because, you know, YouTube is going to cover the authority bill. You know, I'm just going to keep it 100. YouTube is going to pay that, that 1300 a month if I was to go that route. But let's just say, you know, a lot of y'all ain't got you know extra income the first load will cover the authority if you had to pay it off truck and then every load after that you just toss it into the maintenance account because the truck is paid off and you don't have no trailer associated with it so um it's just maintenance maintenance fuel maintenance fuel maintenance fuel that's it that's that's all to it and then uh with power only i wouldn't even go too far man 300 miles 400 500 at the max um you know, when I was looking at the low board, I was looking at DAT, then they had quality, uh, the carrier, I'm still east on two quality carriers. They had both low boards pulled up side by side. I was at DAT, got way more freight than the quality carriers, but the way I see it is, I do power only right now for quality carriers, 65%. That's not the percentage I get, but it's very, very close to that, okay? I can't tell you the exact percentage, uh, even though I think I didn't said it in a video before, but it's very close to that within one percent that's all you need to know but i do power only now basically you know they give me a phone call well i'll put the load off the low board but whatever phone call put the load off the low board wake up roll up out of bed when they got the right price and the right you know the right load then that's when i rolled up out of bed go to my tractor start it up let it warm up hook up to their trailer uh usually i go down to texas with it or uh we we'll go up to Missouri or Kentucky. Uh, I don't really go up to Ohio no more because it's winter time, but I will go up to Ohio, but that's about it. Because uh, I, I just run the same lanes, you know, for the most part with QC. But uh, mostly we head to Texas, obviously. We head down to Texas, um, loaded. We get loaded here in Memphis. When I'm not in Memphis, but we get loaded in Memphis, go to Texas, deliver. And usually I just did head back with the trailer. Either I bobtail or did head back with the trailer. Just depends on the situation. Sometimes they want their trailer to be dropped at a uh, tank wash down in Texas, and then I bobtail back. And uh, sometimes they just want me to bring the trailer all the way back empty. So it's no difference, no different than um, if I was to go ahead and get my own authority and just do power only for whatever carriers on the low board, which is mainly JB Hunt. But uh, let's just say I hook up to a JB Hunt trailer, take that to wherever it's going, drop that off. At least I get the bobtail back, and I can negotiate the rate. And um, it's same, I, I just view it as the same thing I'm doing with QC. It's just there's more money involved with it on the uh, on authority side, okay? Of course, there's more risk. And um, 
Well, for risk comes reward, okay? Uh, and, and is the cost... Well, uh, it's actually cheaper the way I see it to do the authority versus the QC because QC I pay what five hundred and like five hundred and fifty dollars a month I want to say uh, that's including insurance e laws and all the deductions I got it's about five hundred and something a month with my own authority it'd be like thirteen hundred thirteen fifty that's about what they quoted me as far as ELD uh, I will hop on that uh, big road three hundred dollars for the year. You know, just a one-time fee over there. They, they do it monthly, obviously, but I just knock it out for the whole year. Um, that's it. That's all that's to that, but uh, I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking because without a trailer, you know, I, I was talking to Ghost, right? He don't want to rely on Amazon. You know, if I was just do, if I was just to do power only, obviously we got Amazon, like I said, and then we got the DAT load board doing power only. But um, having your own authority and knowing that you gotta wake up every day and hope that Amazon take care of you, not a good idea. Now, if I had a trailer park somewhere. Then we go on Amazon Power Only, and then we can book refill and drive in freight up out of here. Well, not both. You, you know, you only got one or the other trailer, but yeah, I get the idea. So, a lot, lot to think about. A lot to think about. Um, with the carry I was talking about in the beginning of the video, 90%. They do all the back office work, you know, right there at 90%. Now, of course, I don't have a trailer, so it won't be 90% for me, but... Um, we can get a hold of a trailer eventually, right? And get back up to that 90%. Um, as far as the Russian carrier, they was, what, 88%? 88%, they charge 250 a week for the trailer, 250, uh, 250 a week for the trailer, 250 a week for the cargo insurance. Uh, the carry that, the carry that, um, I'm talking about also in the beginning of the video, charge cargo too. A little bit cheap, I think it's 130 something a week, not too sure. But uh both of those are good options. And I don't want y'all to think that these are the only two companies in all of the United States that people are making money hand over fist on. Uh it's plenty of carriers like this that's out there, especially in the Chicago area. Uh, damn near, you know, hundreds of them in the Chicago area. But um, the main thing I want y'all to look at and keep in mind is the pay between company drivers, lease drivers, and owner-operators that either own a truck or finance their truck, the pay is totally different, okay? The lease drivers, from what I'm seeing, and what I've just, you know, just looking on YouTube, the pay is between $1,500 and $2,500 on average. These owner-operators or people that didn't finance the truck that still got payments, even if they're paying $1,300, $1,400, $1,500 a month, the fact that their truck is financed, the pay is just way different than the lease drivers. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because the lease drivers, when you lease everything, it's just a ton a ton of deductions and I mean a ton a ton of deductions but hey who am I you know I just like to uh, sit down analyze the math you send me the settlement I'm just gonna read what the settlement say you know and if the settlement don't necessarily agree with what the driver has said that ain't my fault you know I'm just gonna read the settlement okay now, I think that's all I want to let y'all know for right now. Obviously, I'm still on home time. Will I be in Memphis? West Memphis at the casino? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Right now, I'm in Nashville. What's today, the 28th? What's today, Saturday, Monday? Monday, Tuesday? It's one of them days. I'm in Nashville right now. Uh, I may head down. I may not. I don't know. We'll see. I don't even know if y'all y'all gonna make it. Oh, least y'all was gonna make it. I don't know. Y'all y'all out there skipping uh, uh Christmas and 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 holidays and New Year's and do y'all not have family? One reason I always told people to go home for Christmas. If you doing trucking and you want Christmas, the shippers 
and receivers are not open. So you're going to be at a truck stop chilling every time, every year. Keep that in mind. You're going to always be chilling because nothing's open. So why be chilling up at TA or Pilot and Love's for a 34-hour reset? Makes no sense when you could have been home. You're not making no money whatsoever doing it. Could have picked up a load after Christmas. Or could have delivered before Christmas Eve and went home. But hey, you know. Anyways, anyways. Uh, I'm enjoying my uh, month of December off. My month of December off. You know. I think I took off, what, four or five months this year? <laughs> I did the same thing last year, man. I think I kicked out the oil field. I took out the whole summer. So, you know, uh, I didn't just got used, used to it. But you got to have other streams of income. Now, me, I don't even have no bills. So I could care less when I go to work. I just could care less, okay? Because I don't have no bills, okay? Not saying that I'm going to gain some bills. But I'm just saying, that, you know, at this present moment in time, I just got time to sit back and analyze the situation because when you own a truck you can man this look let me, let me let me talk about this when you own a truck see once i sat down and one of my ogs came to me and said hey look you got the title it don't make no sense to give up anything more than zero percent <laughs> <laughs> to any carry out here when you own the truck, you know, it's, you might as well just get the whole hundred percent because you're giving up 65. What, what am I giving up? 35 percent truck go down. The people you're giving this 35 percent up ain't got no penny for you. You might as well have just been getting the whole hundred percent. It, it just don't make no sense. And when I thought about it like that, I said, you know what? I'm hauling the bomb. I'm hauling the bomb. They hauling, you know what I'm saying, Roman noodles. They over here grossing and taking more than me. And I'm over here shaking with the damn steering wheel, trying to, you know, trying to hope that I, you know, trying to keep it between the white lines. Hoping I don't roll this thing over. Because if you was to dare roll that, ooh, boy, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you do not want to roll over. A flammable load. It is not going to be pretty. I'm telling you. You're going to light up the sky. They're going to shut the interstate down. They're probably going to fly in one of them helicopters to drop the water from the sky. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's like that. It's like that. See a helicopter coming right now. Mm-hmm. Man, but uh, I ain't going to hold y'all up. I'm going to shoot this video twice. <laughs> Just to make sure, you know what I'm saying? I didn't say nothing crazy. All right now.